Good morning, everybody. Heading to work, and I was just, I was just kind of reflecting. <laughs> My drill's falling over. It's a Monday already. Um, just kind of reflecting on a message that Pastor Wes uh, Hamlin brought us yesterday. Man, it was really, really good. It was about openness. He said, he said openness is the key to the miraculous. Openness is the key to the miraculous. And, man, that's awesome because I've said it myself, like, you know, I'll never be able to do that. God's not going to use me for that. God can't use me for this. I know there's other people that probably have the same mentality. God can't do this with me. And if you have that mentality, then you're right. Like, the Bible says that Jesus didn't heal many people in his hometown due to their lack of belief. No faith. And they were closed-minded. Like, we have got to stop being these closed-minded Christians thinking that God done all that stuff back then and he's not going to do it now. But if you have that closed-minded thinking, then you're right. You're absolutely right. He's not going to do any of that stuff. God's not going to force any of that stuff on you. You're never going to succeed. You're never going to be blessed financially. You're never going to be healed. You're never going to be able to lay hands on people and they recover. None of that's going to happen if you keep staying closed-minded like that. And so you're absolutely right. I agree with you. I've been that person. You know, God's never going to use me. God can't do that through me. Blah, blah, blah. You're absolutely right. If you keep that if you're a Christian and you keep that closed-minded, that stinking thinking, as he said, um, you're right, it's never going to happen. But if you keep an open mind, if you open up, if you stay open to whatever God has for you, whatever God has for you, look, God's going to do something so new that you're not going to be able to go to your homies. You're not going to be able to go to your girlfriends and talk to them about it. You're going to have to go to God. He's going to make it to where you have to rely on Him because it's something they've never gone through. Your homie ain't going to be able to, to, to walk you through it, to give you guidance because he don't know. He has no idea. She ain't going to be able to talk you through this because she don't know nothing about what God's doing through you. If you stay open to whatever God has for you, whatever it is, just stay open God use me send me wherever and however you want but you better be ready and you better be ready to accept where and how and who he wants you to be and what he wants you to do anyway I feel like that's for somebody I know that was for me stop putting God in a box stop being closed minded Christians and know that God back then he he wasn't I, he didn't say, I'm the great I was. He didn't say, I'm the great used to be. I'm the great only for the Israelites back in those days. He's the great I am. Like right now. He's the great I am. Not I was, not I'm going to be. He's the great I am. So he can do all that stuff that he did thousands of years ago. Like blow that bubble just now. Ain't number no God. He can do it. God, it's Monday, y'all. He can do it if you let him. He can do it if you let him. Stop being closed-minded, have an open mind, and have a good week, y'all.